hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a google account creating a google account will give you access to google products such as youtube google maps google play store gmail google meet google chat google drive google photos and so many other it can also give you access to google classroom google ads and so many others so guys if you want to know how to create a google account just make sure you follow me to the end of this video and if this video is helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment as that will help grow this youtube channel so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys now the first step that you have to take in order to create a google account is to go over to your browser whichever browser that you're using will work out fine be it chrome browser be it opera mini be it phonix whichever browser that you're using just tap on it to open it so guys in this video tutorial today i'm going to be using the chrome browser so let me tap on my chrome browser right away so guys once your browser opens up what you have to search for is create gmail account create gmail account so guys let me type it in let me tap on the search bar at the top let me tap on it then let me type it in right away create gmail account so guys can see it there so let me tap on enter below let me tap on enter so guys now you can see these are the results of my search so guys what you have to do next now is to tap on the first result you can see what is written there create a gmail account you can see where the arrow is pointing at that's the first result so let me tap on it so guys now you can see what is written here create a gmail account to sign up for gmail create a google account so guys can see for you to actually sign up for gmail you must create a google account because gmail is a google product so for you to use any google product you must create a google account if you remember if you remember i told you guys to type in create a gmail account instead of create a google account the reason for that is because for you to actually create a gmail account you must first of all create a google account so guys now the next step you have to take now in order to create a google account is to tap on where it is written create an account you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see what is written here google sign in to continue to gmail so guys we can't continue with gmail because we don't have a google account so guys now for you to create a google account what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written create account you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see these three options that came up the first one is for my personal use the second one is for my child in case you want to create for your child the third one is for work or my business so if you want to create a google account for your business you go for the third one if you want to create maybe for your child or someone you're actually a guidance over you go for the second one which is for my child then if you want to create it for your personal use that means an individual account what you have to do is to choose the first one so let me go for the first one since i want to use it for a personal use so let me tap on it wow guys can i see what is written here create a google account so guys here you're required to enter your name your first name and your last name and the last name is actually optional so guys let me go ahead now to impute my first name and my last name let me impute it right away so guys now you can see i've entered my first name and my last name so the next step to take now is to tap on next so let me tap on next So guys over here you're required to impute your basic information like your birthday and your gender so guys what you have to do now is to impute your birthday and your gender so let me do that right away then over to the gender let me tap on where it is written gender and um, let me go for male so guys now you can see i've chosen my birthday and also my gender so guys now the next step to take now is to tap on where it is written next so let me tap on it right away So guys now you can see the next step you can see what is written there how will you sign in create a gmail address for signing into your google account so guys you have to create a gmail address that you always use to sign into your google account it's actually important because your email address stands as your username so guys now let me go ahead now to impute my email address there are so many ways to come out with a username or your email address you can use both of your names and add some numbers and some characters you can also use your first name or your second name and add some numbers to it you can even decide not to use anything that has to relate with your name you can decide to use anything that is good anything that you can come up with that you think is good for your username so guys now let me go ahead now to create a gmail address a username so let me type on where it is written username and let me type something and let me use george fit george fit um then let me add it um 23. so guys now you can see my username george fit 23. then if you add the gmail.com to the username it will then be called your gmail address so my gmail address is now 
georgefit23 at gmail.com that's my gmail address so guys once you're done creating your gmail address what you have to do now is to tap on next so let me tap on next so guys you can see it didn't go through you can see what is written here they said the username is taken try another so guys what i have to do now is to change some things so let me add another figure to it let me add another let me just add four to it so guys now you can see my new username georgefit234 at gmail.com so guys let me tap on next now to see if this one will go let me tap on next right away wow guys you can see that one was actually accepted so now my gmail address is georgefit234 at gmail.com so guys here you're required to create a strong password you can see what is written there create a strong password with a mix of letters numbers and symbols so guys let me go ahead now to create my password so guys now you can see i've inputted my password so let me confirm the password let me retype the password again where it is written confirm so let me tap on it and let me type it in once again so guys now you can see i've inputted my password and i've confirmed it by retyping it again so guys what you have to do is to create your password once you get to this step you can use anything as your password you can use just numbers you can mix it with symbols and letters anyone you come out with will be fine in as much as it's actually hard make sure you get a strong password so no one can easily guess it because if someone gets your password if someone can easily guess your password they can easily get into your google account i know that will be actually bad so guys now once you're done with this what you have to do now is to tap on next so let me tap on next wow guys you can see this password wasn't accepted you can see what is written there please choose a stronger password try a mix of letters numbers and symbols so guys there in this password is letters and numbers but i didn't add a symbol so let me go ahead now to add a symbol to it let me tap on the password so guys i've gone ahead now to add a symbol so let me tap on next now Wow, guys, you can see the password was accepted. So, guys, now you can see the next step is written add recovery email. The address where Google can contact you if there is unusual activity in your account or if you get locked out. So, guys, it's somewhat important that you add the recovery email so as to protect your account. Let's say, for instance, someone gets access into your account and locks you out of your own account. You can get access to that your main account again through the recovery email. And also guys, in case you don't have a recovery email address, you don't need to bother yourself about it. It's actually optional. As you can see there, there is a skip option there. You can actually tap on skip to skip this step. So guys, now I'm not going to be adding a recovery email. So let me tap on skip. So guys, yeah, they're asking you to review your account info. You can use this email address to sign in later. So guys, there you can see my email address. You can see my Google account right there. So guys, let me tap on next right away. So guys now this is the next step privacy and terms so guys you have to agree to the privacy and terms of google so let me scroll downwards now to the bottom let me scroll to the bottom so guys what you have to do now is to tap on agree you can see where it is written agree they are responding at it so let me tap on it by tapping on agree you are agreeing to the privacy policy and terms and conditions of google so guys now you can see it's loading let's just wait for a few seconds Wow guys, can now see we've now created our Google account. You can see Google has sent us an email already. You can see Google community team. Let me tap on it. So guys, you can see what is written there. George, finish setting up your new Google account. You can see what is written down there. Hi George, welcome to Google. Your new account comes with access to Google products, apps and services. Here are the few tips you can get started with. So guys, let me scroll down. You can see there are so many things that you can set up in your Google account. So guys, now you can see this is how you can actually create your Google account and start using Google products. So guys, I've come to the end of this video and I believe you got value from this. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment. And also, if you're new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the bell notification. So that whenever I release a new video, you're going to get notified. See you on the next upload. Bye-bye. Peace.